Here's an interesting fact. Research suggests that couples who laugh together stay together. Shared laughter increases relationship satisfaction and strengthens emotional bonds. And a relatable saying, a strong relationship requires choosing to love each other, even in those moments when you struggle to like each other. Hey everyone, it's your friend Saeed Rasalat here. You're probably wondering why you should watch this video on common relationship problems. Well, let's face it, we've all been there. Whether it's dealing with communication hiccups, trust issues, or just trying to keep the spark alive, relationships can be tricky. In this video, I'll break down the most common relationship hurdles in a way that's relatable and easy to understand. Plus, I'll share some practical tips and a few laughs along the way. So, if you want to learn how to navigate the ups and downs of love and maybe even strengthen your relationship, stick around. Trust me, it's going to be worth it. Part 1. Let's talk communication. Hey there, communication champ? Or maybe not so much. Don't worry, we've all been there. Ever had a convo with your partner that felt more like talking to a brick wall? Yeah, been there too. But fear not, because in this part, we're diving deep into the ocean of communication. Imagine this. You're trying to explain why you're upset, but your partner just doesn't seem to get it. Frustrating, right? Well, here's the thing. Communication isn't just about talking, it's about understanding too. It's like that saying, it takes two to tango. So, let's tango our way to better communication. Picture this scenario. You. I feel like you don't listen to me. Partner. But I do listen, I just forget things sometimes. You. It's not about remembering facts, it's about showing you care about how I feel. See what we did there, it's not just about the words, it's about the meaning behind them. So, buckle up, because we're about to upgrade your communication game. Part 2. Trust me, trust issues happen. Welcome to the trust train, where we're all aboard the roller coaster of emotions. Trust is like a fragile flower. It needs care, attention, and sometimes a bit of miracle grow. Have you ever been in a situation where trust was broken? It can feel like a punch to the gut. But hey, it's not the end of the world. Imagine this scenario. You. I saw a message on your phone from someone named Alex. Who's Alex? Partner. Oh, just a friend from work. Nothing to worry about. You. But why didn't you tell me about them before? Partner. I didn't think it was important. I'm sorry if it upset you. Trust is about being open and honest, even when it's hard. It's about showing that you're reliable and dependable. So, grab your trusty toolbox, because we're going to rebuild that trust, one brick at a time. Part 3. Show me the money. Or not, hey, financial wizards? Or maybe more like financial disasters? No judgment here. Money matters can be a minefield in relationships. Ever argued over spending habits or financial goals? It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. But fear not, because we're here to help you find your way out. Imagine this scenario. You. I think we should start saving more for our future. Partner. But I want to enjoy life now, we work hard, we deserve it. You. I get that, but we also need to think about the long term. Partner. I never thought about it that way. Maybe we can find a balance. Financial conflicts can strain even the strongest relationships. But by setting clear financial goals, budgeting together, and having open conversations about money, you can avoid the pitfalls and build a solid financial foundation for your relationship. Part 4. The Intimacy Dilemma. Closeness versus Space. Hey there, lovebirds, or maybe more like love hawks, circling for some alone time? It's all good. Balancing intimacy and personal space can feel like walking a tightrope. Ever felt suffocated in a relationship? Or maybe you're craving more closeness? Let's find that sweet spot together. 
Imagine this scenario. You. I feel like we're always together. I need some space. Partner. But I love spending time with you. I feel closer when we're together. You. I love our time together too, but I also need some time for myself. Partner. I understand. How about we schedule some me time and we time? Intimacy isn't just about physical closeness, it's also about emotional connection. By understanding each other's needs and finding a balance between togetherness and independence, you can nurture a healthy and fulfilling relationship. So, let's cozy up and explore the intimacy dance together. Part 5. Future Planning. Are we on the same page? Hey, future planners, or maybe more like future questioners, it's cool, we're all figuring it out as we go. Ever had that moment when you realize you and your partner might have different ideas about the future? It's like planning a road trip but ending up in different destinations. Let's map out a route that works for both of you. Imagine this scenario. You. I think it's time we start thinking about starting a family. Partner. Really? I was thinking more about traveling the world. You. I love the idea of traveling too, but I also want to have a family someday. Partner. I never thought about it that way. Maybe we can do both, just at different times. Future planning is about finding common ground and aligning your visions for the future. By discussing your goals, dreams, and timelines openly, you can create a roadmap that leads to a shared future you're both excited about. Part 6. Green-Eyed Monster, Dealing with Jealousy. Hey there, jealousy warriors, or maybe more like jealousy strugglers? No worries, we've all battled the green-eyed monster at some point. Jealousy can creep into even the strongest relationships, but it's how you deal with it that matters. Let's slay that monster together. Imagine this scenario. You. I saw you liked your ex's picture on social media. It made me feel jealous. Partner. It's just a picture, it doesn't mean anything. You. I know, but it still made me feel insecure. Partner. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. Jealousy often stems from insecurity or fear of losing your partner. By building trust, communicating openly, and addressing underlying issues, you can overcome jealousy and strengthen your relationship. So, let's banish those jealous thoughts and focus on building a love that's strong and secure. Part 7. Divide and Conquer, Household Chores Edition. Hey there, chore champions. Or maybe more like chore challengers. Don't worry, we've all faced the never-ending battle of household chores. Who does what, when, and how often can turn into a major point of contention. But fear not, because we're here to help you find a system that works for both of you. Imagine this scenario. You. I feel like I'm always doing the dishes, can you help out more? Partner. I thought you didn't mind doing them. You. I don't mind, but I also need a break sometimes. Partner. I understand. How about we make a schedule for chores? Dividing household chores fairly and evenly can reduce resentment and create a more harmonious home environment. By communicating your needs and finding a system that works for both of you, you can conquer the chore challenge together. Part 8. Opposites attract, but can they stay together? Hey there, yin and yang couples, or maybe more like opposites in love, it's all good. Being different can bring excitement and new perspectives to a relationship, but it can also lead to clashes if not managed well. Let's explore how to embrace your differences and make them strengths. Imagine this scenario. You. I love trying new things and being spontaneous. Partner. I prefer sticking to a routine and planning ahead. You. I get that, but I also think we can balance each other out. Partner. That's true. Your spontaneity has brought a lot of fun into my life. Opposites can complement each other beautifully. 
By respecting each other's differences, finding common ground, and celebrating what makes you unique, you can create a harmonious and fulfilling relationship. So, let's celebrate the beauty of opposites in love. Part 9. When family gets too close for comfort, hey there, family-friendly folks, or maybe more like family-frustrated friends. Family can be a source of love and support, but it can also add a layer of complexity to your relationship. Ever felt like your partner's family is a bit too involved? It's like having a third wheel on your date night. Let's navigate this family affair together. Imagine this scenario. You. I feel like your mom is always meddling in our relationship. Partner. She's just concerned about us. She means well. You. I understand, but I also need to feel like our relationship is just between us. Partner. I'll talk to her and set some boundaries. Family interference can strain relationships, but by setting boundaries, communicating openly, and showing respect for each other's families, you can maintain a healthy balance. So, let's keep the love strong, even when family gets a little too close for comfort. Part 10. Fight Club. How to argue without ruining your relationship. Hey there, conflict conquerors, or maybe more like conflict avoiders, it's all good. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship, but it's how you handle it that makes all the difference. Ever had a disagreement that turned into a full-blown argument? It's like a storm that blows in out of nowhere. Let's learn how to weather the storm together. Imagine this scenario. You. I feel like you never listen to me. Partner. That's not true, I always listen. You. But you never seem to understand how I feel. Partner, I'm sorry, I'll try to be more empathetic. Conflict doesn't have to be destructive. By using I statements, listening actively, and finding common ground, you can resolve conflicts peacefully and strengthen your relationship. So, let's turn your next argument into a productive discussion. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey into the heart of relationships. Remember, understanding and communication are key to a healthy relationship. Stay tuned for more Relationship Real Talk, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more heartfelt conversations. Until next time, keep loving, keep talking, and keep growing. Have a wonderful day.